Good morning, everybody. This is Eric. That's Matt. And we're going to break into a box of Saturday Night Live from Star Picks. Yep. Star Packs? 1992 Star Picks. Nice. This is our first episode in the Retro Busters. And uh, I've already cracked open a pack here last night. Um, basically, to just so kind of check to make sure the UV wasn't letting the card stick. But I'll go ahead and stick that out there. That's our first... We're going to kind of just skim through these and pick out the most iconic characters out of the pack. And if you're a fan of Saturday Night Live, you obviously know who the Coneheads are. They were probably the first real recognizable um, characters from the show. So you've got Dan Aykroyd, Jane Curtin, and Lorraine Newman, all as the Coneheads. Back in the 70s when I was... 15 years old. I wasn't even thought of yet. Yeah. So we're going to break this up. There's 36 packs in this box. Uh, this is Matt's Matt's personal box. Mm -hmm. he, he bought this and brought it in so we can uh, rip it open together. So we're going to split it up. 18 packs a piece. He opened one last night. So he gets 17. I'm going to count these to make sure I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 18. All right, here we go. We're going to open these up. We'll hit the most iconic characters in the pack. We'll try to keep it fast. We're also going to be looking for autographs because uh, Starpix did have autograph cards um, in these packs. They didn't announce it, but um, they did have autographs that were it randomly inserted of all the major characters. Um, Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, um, Phil Hartman, Chris Rock, and there is Nick the Lounge Singer, Nick one of the Bill one of Bill Murray's infamous uh, characters, and he's probably best known for singing the Star Wars theme song um, as a lounge singer. I won't do the rendition because I can't do it quite as good as Bill Murray can. But Belushi and Donuts, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that was back when Wheaties was a big deal. <laughs> they were parroting Wheaties and. Showing Belushi sitting there smoking cigarettes and and right off the bat another iconic character Stuart Smalley played by Al Franken. I'm good enough. Um, I'm smart enough. Yep. The classic Michael Jordan episode. Yeah, yeah. Where he's got Michael Jordan. Hans and Franz. All right, I'm already breaking the rule, but I have to show it <laughs> because Ooh. this is such an iconic iconic portrayal. Jo John Belushi is Joe Cocker singing uh, one, one of Joe Cocker's songs. I recommend anybody get on YouTube or get on the internet and look for that uh, rendition because it's one of the funniest things you'll ever watch from Saturday Night Live. I'm going to break it too. I, I'm sorry, but I can't <laughs> I can't go on not doing this. We're, we're going to start with Wayne's World. Everyone's favorite, right? But wait... Oh, is that Mr. Farley? Yeah. <laughs> the good old, uh, the good old uh, Chippendale dance. Chip and Dale's dance. Yep. My goodness gracious! So if you watch that, if you watch that bit or that sketch, Myers is trying not to lose it. Of course. The whole time he's got his he's got his uh, hand in front of his mouth, just trying not to laugh. Tunes the driving cat. With a Texas ID. It didn't, uh, it, yeah, anytime you get in the car with Tunes's, it didn't end well. You'd end up at the well. bottom of a cliff of an exploding car. So, but yeah, we're going to keep an eye out for the autographs, but if we don't snag an autograph, we will, uh, if, if we don't notice it and we get one later, we notice it later, we'll, we'll post it on Instagram or something. Here's Farley and Rock, and I'm chilling. And right off the bat, Probably one of the top five most iconic characters on that show, Church, Church Lady. Lady, by Dana Carvey. Probably one of the most iconic Samurai, performers on that Belushi. show. So, yeah, Saturday Night Live, man, it was crazy how that show got started. It was all because Johnny Carson wanted two days off a week. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> now, so they created a variety show and they put it on Saturday night. And here's Farley of Schwarzkopf. Anybody remembers Desert Storm remembers that. Anyway, it was originally Sorry. supposed to run six Sorry. episodes, and here we are 40 years later. 40 years later. 40 years later. 40-year anniversary. That's why we're doing this. Um, 
here's here's one that the, the real diehards will remember from the first season, the land shark. The land shark. Yeah. Jaws was really popular for that summer, and uh, so they came up with this brilliant idea to do a land shark where, you know, this woman would get a knock at her door and, you know, like, special delivery, candy gram, and sure enough, she'd open the door and boom, it was a land shark and eat her and it was Chevy Chase. This is probably my... F Oh man, like top, I'm gonna say top five. And re there was recently a documentary on Farley, but this was highlighted well, the Chris Farley show. Hey, do you remember when you you were in the Beatles? <laughs> man, that was yeah. awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I, I, he only did what, I think four of those. Yeah, but they were so good. They were great. They, they were some of the best, some of the best comedy that, that, that he had done. When you said love is all you need, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, did you mention that the autographs are on the back of the cards? Did you? Yes. Okay. On the I back. I that part. I was... And uh, hopefully we snag one. I'm not really paying much attention because I'm trying to get through this and try, you know, we, we want to make sure that this is a short and sweet video. Just kind of paying homage to... Love it says the devil. Saturday Night Live. Uh, oh, here we go. Who remembers Sprockets and Sprouts. Dieter? And Dieter. Playing with his monkey. I'm going to play touch my monkey. These packages are, you know, kind of brittle for... Yeah, I mean, you know... Hans and Franz. Hans and Franz. We just want to pop you up. Pump you up. Oh, it looks like I just pulled the, the best same, Trump brothers. Exact same card as you did. Sprockets. And we have. Oh, here we go. Julia Some Child. more iconic <laughs> characters. The Blues Brothers. Yes. You Had their own me. film. and You beat me there, but that's Dana, Dana Carvey's George Bush. Yep. One thing at Saturday Night Live for those who aren't familiar with the show, if you, in case you've been living under a rock the last 40 <laughs> years. Saturday Night Live is very famous for making fun of presidents. Yes. It's one of the many appeals of the show. Started with Chevy Chase's Gerald Ford always falling down the steps or tripping over stuff to Bill Clinton's, I or, yeah, Phil Hartman's iconic Bill Clinton impression. Um, let's see what else we got here. That's and Ronald Reagan. There's one that was pretty popular. Gilda Radner's Roseanne, Roseanne, Ro Roseanne Dana. Roseanne Dana. Yep. Don't remember much about that character, but I know it's iconic. This is a fun set. I like it, man. This is bringing back all kinds of memories. Yeah, I mean, you got to remember, this only covered the first, what, 17 years? Right. Of Saturday Night Live. Right. Um... Let's see what else. Ah, uh, here we go. We haven't, we haven't covered this guy yet, who, from what I understand, is a vintage baseball card collector. Mr. Uh, Schneider. Rob Schneider is the rich meister. We'll be here in town in... Uh, in December. In December, right? yes. It would be great to get him in here and get him on the radio show. He had, Unfortunately, he had a Willie Mays rookie stolen from his residence yep. the night before the National this year. Was that this year or a couple of years? I think it was this year. I'm pretty sure it was this year. All right. Actually, speaking of the same guy, there's another one. Making copies. <laughs> I got to point this out. This wasn't really an iconic character, but it was one of those iconic moments. Phil Hartman is a weightlifter who literally rips his arms out of the sockets <laughs> trying to deadlift something. Oh, man. They would come up with some fun stuff. Have you run? Oh, there we go. Oh, Nat X. Yep, Nat X. And probably my favorite Chris Rock from the show, anyways. Chevy Chase is Gerald Ford, as Mr. Matt mentioned earlier. And hey, it's Bill Murray. It just doesn't even need a. It's, it's Bill Murray. And there's all things are Scottish. If it's not Scottish, it's crap. I don't remember that one, but... You know, like you said, this only covers the first 17 years, so 
they're it's missing a lot of what a lot of the 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 mid 90s the yeah, ferals and the Frisco and, and you know I'm actually shocked that none of the other card companies have tried to get a license to, to do some type of some type of set for for uh, that would be Saturday awesome Live. Ah, and here's another one another one Chris Farley was known for the super fans yes so he goes into the cheese <laughs> the cheese booth my goodness gracious anyway yeah, I mean, it, it brings back memories looking through these things, watching this stuff with, you know, <laughs> friends and family, and, you know. It's usually, as a kid, it was a little too late for me to stay up. There's another great, great uh, shot of super fans. There you go. Um, 47 heart attacks! Yeah. <laughs> when Chris Farley starts pounding on his chest, look out now. It's Pat! A lot of people say, what's that? It's, it's Pat. Pat. Roseanne and Tom, that's a, that's a classic. <laughs> Victoria Jackson and Chris Farley. Oh, what do we got in here? There's another Nat X. These packs are brittle. Yeah, and, the, and it looks like they didn't survive well in shipping. I'm looking at a lot of dented corners. Yeah. But, you know, this was really, for the most part, just to kind of give viewers and... You know, I, this is something Star Picks did. I'll just go ahead and show it. This is show you how dated this stuff is. They put those little little advertisements in for Star Picks products and, and whatnot you could buy. And a lot, I think a lot of the references on these are for sports cards because... Yeah. They Star Picks did the uh, draft pick stuff back in the day, back in the early '90s, and so this is down uh, here to the nitty gritty here. Some cool stuff. Axel Rose and G. E. Smith from the bands. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Probably was no, it's probably not Axel Rose's first. The Slash on there too. Probably not his first appearance on a card with that rock and roll set that they did. No. There's Mike Myers as Simon. He likes to do drawings, drawings, Myers. I was scarred for life when they had the episode of Simon with Danny DeVito in the tub with him. That was really, really bad. Really, really, very, very, really bad. And there's, of course, Chevy falling down. That was what kind of sold the show initially. Chevy is Gerald Ford falling down all over the place. There's that early cast. I am not seeing, and I am done. You're done? I got through my pack. That's not early cast. I got three more left. I'm wrapping it up, guys. The early cast members: Chevy Chase, minus Kaufman, Gilda Radner. Um, then you had Jane Curtin, Dan Aykroyd, Garrett Morris, Lorraine Newman. I think that was it. Yeah. Um, the first host ever of Saturday Night Live. Do you know? Do you know who it was? I do not. George Carlin. George Carlin? Mr. George Carlin. Mr. Seven Dirty Words <laughs> that you can't say on television. And we, we won't say them here, even though i got them running through my mind. I am a big, I'm a big George Carlin fan, but uh, yes, I mean, that was pretty much, you know, this is a pretty cool set. I like, you know, the the, 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 Miller the, the design's very nice. Yes, it is. Um, you look at it, and it is very 90s, and very reflective of last pack here. I'm gonna pull out some of the icons and stick them out just to, just to have them out there so we can get one more one more time. Speaking of George Carlin, right there he is. That's Mr. Mr. Mike. There you go. Um, we'll just stick him out there too. Um, yeah, I'll throw the land shark out there, why not? That'll be good. So. <laughs> Dylan and Petty. I'll let you figure that one out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, Saturday Night Live is a pretty good TV show. I, I don't watch it much nowadays. I, I I probably should, but I've heard it's gotten a little bit more, a little bit more PC. And you know, that's one thing the show wasn't really about back then was PC. I mean, it, they they push limits, <laughs> right? And it seems like now they don't do that as much. But um, 
It was, that was kind of a fun break. It was our first uh, Retro Busters, what do you think? I, you know, it was fun. I, it brought back a lot of memories. I had to hold my tongue on some stuff, uh, which is cool. I read recently, actually this morning, that during this season, Mr. Trump is going to be hosting. You know, that's kind of controversial. But that the, So the show is still controversial. It's still one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. uh, modern characters, you know, anytime Justin Timberlake is on with his... Uh, his <laughs> Well, any of his characters. Blank really, in a right? box. Yeah, Blank in a box. That's uh, Sandberg and Timberlake. His dancing, his dancing uh, charity drives. Uh, Fallon was great on it as well. Farrell. You know, all that's not in here, but it totally could be if someone yep. else would pick up that someone license. Someone pick up that license. But this was fun sound. and I enjoyed it. Now, well, do you want to make an announcement about the upcoming retro breaks we have? Well, the next retro uh, busters we're going to have is October 21st, 2015. For you Back to the Future fans, that date will hold significance because that's the day that Marty McFly and Doc Brown go back to the future, 30 years into the future to be exact, to discover hoverboards and Pepsi Perfect and the Cubs winning the World Series. We'll be doing a, on that day, we'll be doing a box break of Back to the Future 2 created by Topps in 1989. Just kind of a, a retro, you know, nostalgic feel for that movie and celebrating the anniversary of the Back to the Future release. So, I guess until next time, live from the Xbox room, I'm Eric, that's Matt. Just keep ripping.